All right, I've got uh, the dog back on the base. I just wanted to check it out and make sure uh, his head position was in line with uh, the warrior's head position, and it is. And so I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, clay of the dog back on my sculpting sand and get busy on it. Time to play with some clay. Okay, the first thing I need to do is I'm going to work on his chest a little bit. But let me explain something first. Uh, yesterday's video, which was actually Saturday's video, Saturday night's video, posted today, which is Monday. And I'm doing this Monday because I didn't have to go to the foundry today, but I got to go to the foundry tomorrow. Anyway, I know it's confusing. <laughs> anyway, you saw a, my, a fondue stick going across his back like this. And what I was doing, and I didn't, I explained it, but the part of the video that I explained it never got recorded. So I'm uh, letting you know how it is now. I uh, used this fondue stick to line up the back part of the rib cage on both sides so that I could uh, make it sym sym symmetrical. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So that's why uh, when I took it off, I had no explanation of what I was using that for, and that's why I was using it. All right. First thing I'm going to do today is uh, I'm going to work on his chest, and I can't work on it at the angle it's at right now. And uh, first, I got to anchor the clay to the sculpting or the uh, turntable here, the lazy Susan. Let me get this out of the way. Just anchoring it to the lazy season so it doesn't go falling off. And now I'm going to tilt the clay up. And I'm going to put a piece of wood underneath to uh, brace it. And it's not going to quite work. All right, it's about two hours later, and I finally got this uh, worked out. It took me a while to figure out how to tilt it and make it so that I can turn the table all the way around because the uh, corner of the, uh, the uh, Lazy Susan would hit the back, you know, the, the, the top of the table, and it would not turn, and then I had to uh, get it positioned in a way that uh, it wouldn't come in contact with my uh, clipboards in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> work on the uh, chest of the dog at the moment and uh, see how far I can get today on that. All right, I just checked the uh, proportions. What I did was I measured the head length with my calipers and it from the bottom of the chin to the breastbone is about one head length. And that's the same as with a, a horse, actually. Uh, the same length uh, for the horse is uh, proportional to the head length. And uh, I need to find my pliers. Why I, oh, I got it right here. I couldn't and uh, get my flame going here and my knife I'm gonna cut just a little bit higher on his neck this time instead of where I cut last time uh, because I don't want it to 
in the same place and I want to be able to push this armature down inside the uh, neck of weights. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to cut right there below the neck or chin, the jaw. Oh, there's already, already an armature in there. I think what I'll do is go ahead and build a base around which to put the uh, dog's head on. And I'm going to, like I said, add about a half inch to it. Where'd my caliper go? There we go. This will just strengthen that wire armature a little bit too. Okay, that works. Now push the head forward just a little bit. Yeah, I have a feeling that the head was just a little too low on the shoulders. Let me, uh, I'm going to take this off the uh, stand so I can go and take a check on his head position with the, uh, the clay that it's going on to. All right, I got him perfectly aligned and I got it filled in. Now I'm going to start working on the muscles of the neck. And again, I've got uh, some <coughs> examples. Uh, of the anatomy of the neck uh, here. First, I'm going to establish the center line for the neck. It's got to end right there, and it's got to start up there. And uh, I'm going to use that fondue stick to line it up. And uh, line up the, the neck muscle.
I'm going real slow and deliberate and enjoying what I'm doing. I do more dogs. They really are fun. I'm getting to the point where I'm going to have to put it back down level again. In a little while. I've been working on his chest underneath. And got that just about worked. Perfect. I've got to check the symmetry of his chest. Make sure I've got the uh, same width of chest. one side wider than the other. All right, I'm uh, got the dog back down on the level ground and uh, I've uh, just went over and looked at it with the uh, the uh, uh, fig the other figure, the Indian figure, and it looks dynamite. I've got the back part to work on. I'll do that tomorrow. I've just been taking it real slow and easy because you just got to get every muscle right but you don't want to make it a Schwarzenegger dog you want to make it just a dog all right everybody have a great night and i'll see you next time give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional dvds uh the link down below this video all right see you next time